Hi everybody, it's Andrea with CraftyDreams.com and um, believe it or not, I'm up, sitting upright, feeling so much better. Still have a little sign of the cold and everything, but definitely on the mend and starting to feel a lot better. Uh, lots of steroids, <laughs> lots of antibiotics, and I think uh, I'm going to beat this thing. Today I want to do a quick card for you uh, with soon to be considered one of my favorite favorites. I love the black and white combos and they have the new uh, Petal Passions which uh, I think um, I'm going to be doing a class on uh, their all-inclusive kit but this is the set um, that I wanted to share today and it's Petal Passion or this uses Petal Palette stamps and as you can see um, it's a two set and has some great sentiments uh, that you can use a lot of different ways um, thank you best wishes for everything life is so much better with you in it some things are just meant to be like the two of you together how cute is that uh, from the heart I just love you congratulations so you can do a lot with this set um, I plan on using it for a few other classes as well and of course take a look at this it looks, can you tell, it looks almost like a watercolor. Um, and, of course, I bought the bundle. And we're going to use that today. If you have a big shot, I really highly recommend this set. And we're probably going to use this stamp set. And from the heart. So, these are the two that I plan on using. And we're using, of course, the Petal Passion Paper. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I've started playing with it, trying to practice coloring with uh, my blendables and uh, trying to see what I like, what I don't like. As you can see, we've got, um, this one is probably my favorite, but I definitely need to work on some things. But I plan on using this um, in another class. Uh, Let's take a look. Uh, just remember, it does bleed through. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take a look at some of these papers. They're so pretty. I've got it sideways. Oh, I love all of it. Oh, okay, I really like this one. I can see doing some things with that. Okay, this one... I'm telling you, one of my thoughts is is definitely take one flower, you know, cut it for a card, and then just do one color for, uh, you know, just a pop of color, a little bit of ribbon, a sentiment. I think it'll be, it'll rock. If you notice on some of the paper, you've got kind of an aged look on some parts of it. That is the way it's supposed to be. It's not faded. Um, and if any of you are into the masking, we actually have this mask. So we might try that another time. Let's take a look. See again, a little faded look, a little worn. Oh, I like that. Okay, these are all the colors, or all the colors, <laughs> all the pages. All right, so what we're going to do first is... I've cut my paper ahead of time, and I did this uh, because I want, I, my card is going to fold this way. So, it's cut at four and a half by eight and a half, all right? And then I scored it, okay, at five and a half. I said that wrong. Four and a quarter by 11 <laughs> I'm so sorry by 11 scored at five and a half oh my goodness it's time for me to go back to bed I guess um, anyway so what I want to do is I just took it and we're going to get a little set out here does anybody else ever do this this is this is the stuff that I use that I have to have at my hands at all times so I keep the oh, can you tell what my favorite ribbon is? I keep it everywhere. Ooh, that might be cute. <sighs> anyway. Oh, I was trying to get my bone folder out. I'm sorry. 
So what I like to do is I like to get a nice crisp line. Okay. And I cut out white cardstock. Whisper white. Okay. And this is done um, at four and five and a quarter. And then I cut this out at three and three quarters and five. Okay. All right, so we've got that, and now we're going to take a little bit of cardstock here, and we're going to stamp our flower. Now these are clear, clear stamps. As you can see, haven't even used them yet. They're um, not the photopolymer, okay? And how I do this. Just so you know, as I just take the backing off, I know some people like to put the stickers on the back of theirs uh, that come with it, but I don't do that. Um, I just find it more difficult uh, for my stamps to stay on, but I know that a lot of people do like to keep that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to stamp this in black. The archival black because I plan on coloring a little bit inside okay we're back again <laughs> sorry about that okay so we're going to stamp this in archival black and as I said I wanted to use archival because I plan on whoops Make sure that's all nice and covered. This is a new stamp. And I'm going to stamp this twice because I plan on making two cards. And oh, look at that. It's really nice and crisp. And just lay it down, press on it. You don't want to, um, one of the things I, I've noticed some people, they kind of push like that. You want to be careful because you will smear your ink. There we go. Whew. I'm nice and hot tonight. <laughs> Okay, so what I'd like to do is um, I was wanting to use my blendables, all right? I don't know. How many of you have got your blendables yet? I'm loving my blendables. I keep them in, this is one of the empty wood stamp boxes. And um, uh, I really, really do like this a lot. Uh, I like to keep them flat because I don't know for sure, but I've heard a little bit of rumors that if you keep them standing up, which is what I was doing in the beginning, um, that it, they could dry out a little bit quicker. And I don't want to take that chance. So this is the colors I'm hoping to try on this. You guys, this will be my first trying this um, with you watching. So, you know, bear with me for a little bit. So what happens is the blendables come in a dark and a light. And you know what? They're really affordable. Um, if you find one that you like a lot, then, um, you know, to get just the one, if you use one a lot, is $4.50. And that's really, you know, that's not bad at all. Um, what this, the color I'm using here is, I'm sorry, I got it flipped wrong, is dark cherry cobbler and light cherry cobbler. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really sure I wanted to go quite that dark, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, bear with me. Now, as you can see, there's two sides. There's kind of a ni nice sharp point right here. Okay. And... Then the little paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to use the light first, and if I need to use the black, I will. But one thing I've learned about 
using this is it it does have a tendency to bleed through my lines so I'm going to try and be real careful with that. And I'm only going to color one on line with you. It's it it spreads so nice too, guys. It really does. Um I really do like it. Um now it does come with what they call lightener pen which I plan on using a little bit on this one. Just to get a little bit of highlights in some spots. But as you can see, there's several flowers. There's three here. And don't worry about, you know, not being perfect. It's to get the color, watercolor look, or um, this is an alcohol pen. So, it, it does look lovely. I, you know, I've made some mistakes as I've gone along trying to teach myself this. And I found that, you know what, it, it really, once you've cut it out and everything, it just, it looks good. It looks good. To me, it does. All right, we're going to do one more here. Well, I sure hope that was a petal. It looked like a petal to me, so I did it. <gasps> Look at me. I just slammed that pen right in the middle of where I didn't want it to be. Okay, now. Now I'm going to switch over to the darker one. And that's just to, I just want to test it and see do I really need it. Because I'll be honest, I really like how it looks now. But we're going to just chance it. Just kind of see, you know. Just put some, um. Just some markings, just to kind of give it a... Hmm. Well, actually, I guess it does look good doing that. Now let me see if I could take a look at the color lifter real quick. See if I could put a little bit of a highlight into the one. Now this is the this is the color lifter, and um, I've used it a few times and found that I really liked it. The little marker side. If you can see, see how it lifts the color just a little bit to help bring some stuff, bring the lightning out. It's kind of nice. Okay. All right. So you guys tell me. I'm trying to figure out. What do you think? Should I go with the green, get the leaves done, or just let it go? Oh, you're not here to talk to me. This isn't live. I don't know why I said that. So I guess I'm just going to go for it. See what happens. Okay? If it doesn't work out, what's the worst I can do is start over. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look. Oh, this is the dark. I don't want the dark. I'm going to go with this. I kind of like it.
Okay. Just kind of put in a few spots here. Just kind of give it a little bit of shading. Voila! Oh my goodness, you guys, look what I did here. I'm not even sure how I did it. Well, good thing that one didn't mess up, huh? All right, so, not sure what caused that, but I might have had something on my hand. Didn't realize it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this out with my Big Shot. Off gently when you get them. Okay, so we just got to get it all measured up. See what I mean? It you know if you're coloring and everything, how tendency this is this is just gonna bring it out really pretty. There's a little bit of still glue on this piece, so it keeps sticking to my finger. Okay. I hope I'm not too far off the camera. I did that the last time. Okay. This is going to be so cute. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, does that not look like a complete, I mean, like, store-bought die cut? Only special, because I made it. <laughs> All right, so, did that. Let's go ahead and put that there. And put this back where it belongs, because if not, I'll go hunting for it later. I don't know if you've, if you've seen what is in this. This is really nice. Look at all these. Isn't that great? All stems, corner flowers. I'm loving it. I can't wait to play with this more and more. All right, so we're gonna get this out of our way. Okay, I'll just put this over to the side. Okay. Now, we need our sentiment. Okay, and what I want to do for the sentiment, and I just showed you the one that I wanted to use. Hmm. Okay, I hate to say this, but how many of you have Winka Stella? Does this not call for some Winka Stella? Just a little bit, don't you think? Just a little bit. <sighs> Me and Blaine, you know how that goes. All right, so. <laughs>
Okay. I think From the Heart is still my favorite. Okay. So I am going to do a strip here. After I just pull everything out of the way. I'm so sorry, guys. Make it such a mess today. All right, I want it to be a one inch flag. Nope. By three inches. And how many of you know how to cut the little flag? I just take it right to the middle. And then do the same thing again. And there you go. Get your nice little flag. And I want to do from the heart. There it is. Okay, all right, so now what I wanna do though is I wanna test it. Um, the one thing I have found about using clear stamps, because they're not clear, which never did make sense, but I am sometimes not sure exactly where it's going to land. So I like to just hit it just once on my paper, just so I know about what I'll be doing. So again, just gonna make sure I've got it nice and covered. It's a fresh stamp. Now look what I did, see? Okay. Oh, nice and crisp. Yay. Okay, now. not a card unless I've got some ribbon, right? <laughs> and I don't need, you know, not anything real fancy. Okay. All right, so let's put our card together. Little snow adhesive. Oh, this is killing me. What am I doing? Nope, I gotta stick with my original plan. <coughs> system. Okay, just a little bit over here to the, just to the left. Actually, let's go a little farther in. Yeah. 
a little tape. Look at me, just not sure. <laughs> okay, well, the one thing I do want is I want to put that on dimensionals. Guys, you can never go wrong with having tons and tons of dimensionals in your home. I will tell you that every time I place an order, I do get myself more um, dimensionals because, first of all, my classes love dimensionals. But I just, it's, it's not too thick. You know, a lot of dimensionals you buy in the store, they're just too thick and lift them up way too high. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but, oops, there we go. All right, so we're going to make this happen. That is so pretty. And of course, I want to lift this up as well. Okay. Now that's what I call the cheater system, is now I'm going to just put a little bow here. Do, 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 do. I wish I could tie bows like I see some of these ladies do. They rock the bows. Okay. Just at a little angle. All right. There we go. All right. Now, the one thing I always like when I'm doing a black card, just so you know, I like to always have... Oops. to add a piece of um, cardstock to put on the inside because it it's black, obviously. So we're going to just put that in there. Oh, you know what we should do before we do that is go ahead and put a little stamp in there just to add a little... Is that 
All right. Okay. There you go. Boy, I can make a mess in a heartbeat. Put this in. And there you go. How cute. It's really a quick card. I made it lengthy because I don't know. What do you think, guys? How cute is this? Okay, again, this is the Petal, pa Petal Passion bundle. And I'll be honest with you, if you do have a big shot, I highly recommend. Um, it just, it takes black and white, add a little pop to it. Uh, it comes with the sentiments, beautiful pictures um, or images, as well as the fact that the um, if you have Big Shot or you have another cutting device such as, uh, um, I think it's the Cuddlebug, um, these, these work in it. Now, of course, I recommend using the Big Shot. However, if that's what you have, this bundle is great. And I think, um, first of all, you're going to be able to use this for Valentine's Day. Um, you can use it for just about everything if you think about it the um, the images and the sentiments they cover a lot of different things so I plan on making several different cards um, with this but I hope you'll give it a shot if you'd like to see another set demoed please let me know I'm happy to show it to you again this is Andrea with craftydreams.com if you're interested in uh, following more of my videos, please feel free to do so. I think you'll find that it is a lot of fun. You're going to be learning quite a bit. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really happy to be up and well again. Bye-bye.